what it is in today's video i'm going to break down how to create your own installation file for davinci resolve better known as a drfx file with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like five the rest of this video if you find today's information informative make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future content this is a request from my last video so shout out to this user and let's get into the video now to get started first things first you got to create your micro now create a micro you'll highlight all your nodes select micro create micro Go give it a name. I'm just gonna call this test for the video. Go to file save and save as. Now at this point, you want to save it somewhere else other than the file directory they give you. Here I go into the folder that I created when I created the transition pack, which of course you can find for free in the link down below. You're gonna locate the settings file that you just created in the folder that you place it in. This here is a DRX file. This is the one I created for my transition pack. And create your own is real simple program folder of DaVinci Resolve. You got black, you got program files, DaVinci Resolve. Then you got Fusion, Templates, Edit. You, you got these three files and then you also have Fusion which these just have files that I have on my computer. What you wanna do is you wanna recreate that file directly on your desktop, basically telling DaVinci Resolve when you double click on your DRX file or DRFX file, you wanna tell it where to place it assets create a new folder and you'll just name it edit now i'm not sure if it's actually cap sensitive or not but for being on the safe side just at least have the edit capitalized and the fusion capitalized when you're creating your folders now within the edit file you want to recreate these files here effects generators titles and transitions now whatever asset you create say for instance you create transitions you want to place transitions in the transition folder if you create a generator you place the generators in the generated folder. So on and so forth, basically just correspond with whatever asset you created. The Fusion folder, you don't need anything in there. You just create a folder that says Fusion with a capital F. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure if it's necessary to be capitalized, but just to be on the safe side, I did. If you want your asset to have a thumbnail, you can use any Photoshop or photo manipulation app that you want to, it doesn't matter. I personally use Affinity Photo, uh, no affiliation or no sponsorship. It's like 50 bucks. At the time I got it, it was 24 It might be still $25 in the Microsoft Store. One-time fee, you buy it, you own it. Using Affinity Photo, I created my logo, and I also created the thumbnail for all my assets. Your thumbnail has to be saved as a PNG, and has to have the same name as your settings folder. So if, you're, so if your asset you create is called Test, then you need to create a PNG that's called Test as well. That tells DaVinci Resolve what photo goes to what setting in the directory giving you your thumbnail. So here, my thumbnail is 113 by 58. When you get ready to export your asset, you want to make sure the dimensions of it is 110 by 58 at bare minimum. I did 113 to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more noticeable, but make sure it's also a PNG. And like I said, it has to have the same name as your settings file. As you can see here, each settings file has a corresponding photo with the same name. It's PNG dot settings. Well, PNG file and a settings file. And I'm not 100% sure if you actually have to do this or not, but I did just to be on the safe side. I copied everything that I put, everything I put in the edit folder, I also put it in my Fusion folder. Uh, from what I can tell, when you in Fusion and you're building a node tree, say for instance, you create like an effect or something like that, and you want to use one of your pre-made assets while in Fusion, you can go into the Fusion tab and bring it down, and it makes it create, it turns your asset into a node that you can use in your node tree. Get your actual installation package, hold control, and select your edit folder and your Fusion folder. Right click. Now each computer I think is a little different, but on mine you have to right click and go down to where it says send to and then compress. You're basically going to create a zip folder. Once the zip file is created, you're going to go through and rename it. You're going to rename it to whatever you want dot drfx. So you're going to get rid of the zip part and change it to drfx. Once you do that, it will ask you, it'll, it should get a prompt asking, do you want to actually change the name of this, of this zip file? You're gonna hit yes, and then once you do that, the icon for the DRS, the DRFX uh, installation package should show up then. At that point, you just double click it, and if you already have DaVinci Resolve open, it will actually ask you, do you want to install this package? I'm gonna hit no just for the sake of the video, because it's just a test. But if you got DaVinci Resolve closed, you can also double click it and it will actually open DaVinci Resolve for you. And it will say actually, do you want to install? Then you just hit cancel or install, whatever you want to do. Now to actually get rid of a DRX, this is what you do, or DRFX. Go into your Fusion tab, go into effects. Uh, well, I gotta go to effects with mine, but yeah, go to edit. And then it's like, say for instance, you want to get rid of, this 
for some odd reason you want to get rid of my package which if you do shame on you but yeah you uh, right click and hit uh, show in folder and it will show you all the files that you have installed just basically go in there and delete it once you do that it will uninstall all the files associated with that particular package with all that being said if you have any type of assets that you created yourself transitions generates or affects anything that you want to share with the world you can easily do so with your own drfx file if you find today's video helpful make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe for future content appreciate you watching